Silverfish commonly cause damage to books, archives, and paper, as well as a wide range of other materials. They can be a nightmare to librarians, archivists, museum professionals, and to people in their homes. The presence of silverfish usually indicate a nearby warm, humid environment as well as an abundant food supply. Adverse to light, silverfish tend to be found in dark areas beneath shelving or in cracks and crevices along the floor or in tight areas within books, paper, or cardboard corrugation. Damage from silverfish is commonly characterized by a ragged and random grazing pattern. We see the grazing pattern on the cover of these books that have been sitting on the floor in an area that is abundant with silverfish. Over time, silverfish have eaten away large portions of the dark blue glazing on the covers of these books. Paper that has been damaged by silverfish takes on a lace-like appearance due to the large number of random holes created by silverfish when the paper is eaten completely through. Silverfish have a relatively long lifespan of up to four years. They prefer to spend their life hidden away in areas of high humidity where food is plentiful. Books can offer both a habitat and a food supply. You can see how they feel protected in the four pages of this book and will thus spend a multitude of hours feeding away on the pages. Controlling nearby microenvironments where pests can migrate from is important to control silverfish. It is also important to remove food sources such as cardboard boxes and paper products that are not part of a collection. Research suggests that silverfish are much more likely to infest objects that are in direct contact with the floor. Microclimates created in the cracks and crevices near the floor have a higher moisture level than the surrounding areas and are a likely reason that silverfish attack these lower areas first. When found near books, archives, or in museums, immediate action should be taken to find the sources of the infestation and removing those sources to protect the valued collections.